Hello beautiful people, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel here at Blooming Raw. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to morning skincare routine and how I treat myself on a relaxing spa day at home. I'll be walking you guys through exactly what I put on my skin to keep it looking fresh, vibrant, and hydrated. By the way, all the products mentioned in this video are vegan and cruelty free. So before I start with skincare, I like to add doTERRA's peppermint and lemongrass essential oil to my diffuser. If I don't have lemongrass, typically I'll just add some lemon essential oil, but I'm really big on aromatherapy and its benefits, and this combination here just helps me feel so soothed yet so alert first thing in the morning and just gives me that boost of energy that I need to start my day. Okay, good morning loves. Uh, let's get started with skincare. I'm going to start off by exfoliating my skin with the Acai Pulp Facial Scrub by 100% Pure. This product actually has organic crush acai berries in it, which is really cool and gives you just so many vitamins like vitamins A and C, minerals, and healthy antioxidants for your skin. Um, every single time I use this product, you guys, my skin is left feeling so soft and looking so bright. But just a quick tip if you're using this product, if you want a more gentle exfoliation, you may want to add more water just because the scrub can be a bit rough on the skin. But I usually gently tap this product into my skin and rinse it off afterwards. Next, I'm going to cleanse my skin using Osea Malibu's Ocean Cleansing Mud. This cleanser is for those of you with blemished or acne prone skin. The tea tree oil and peppermint oil in this product really helps to get rid of acne and those lingering dark spots on the skin. Um, another favorite cleanser that I use is the Coconut Oil Cleansing Milk by 100% Pure. I usually like to mix the two, however my all-time favorite cleanser is the Ocean Cleanser by Osea, but I'm sadly out of it. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting a few blemishes on my skin, so these two products that I'm using today are perfect. Then what I'll do is gently rub the two cleansers into my skin. Um, and then I'll typically wait about five minutes or so um, until it starts to get all tingly on my face and then I remove. Excuse the weird dance break here. One of my favorite songs was playing and I just went crazy. <laughs> all right, I'm back. <laughs> to treat my skin, I'm going in with my Red Algae Mask by Osea. This mask is again ideal for blemished or acne prone skin types and helps to get rid of all the excess oils on your skin. Um, with this particular mask, I typically only apply a thin layer and rub it in until smooth. Next, I'm going to go in with Osea's White Algae Mask, and this mask is great for just overall skin brightening. I always focus this product on my chin where I tend to get dark spots, the sides of my face, and then sometimes on my forehead, and I'll just rub it on in. I usually wait about 15 to 20 minutes to let both masks work their magic before I rinse. Sometimes I'll leave these masks on overnight if my skin is really in need of a rescue. <laughs> For hydration, I'm going in with my Hyaluronic C Serum by Osea. This product is so amazing, you guys. My skin just feels so hydrated after application. Um, but Hyaluronic C serums in general are just wonderful for the skin because they're visibly shown to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and signs of aging. Um, it also helps to make my skin just appear brighter and clearer. So this product actually comes with a dropper. I just use a very tiny amount. A little goes a long way with this guy. And I just rub the product into my skin until it's soaked in completely. For additional hydration, I'm going in with the Vitamin C Serum, which also contains hyaluronic acid. I'm just taking a tiny amount of this product um, and focusing it particularly under the eyes to brighten up that under eye area a bit more. And lastly, for hydration, I'm taking Osea's C Vitamin Boost Spray. This spray just gives me a fresh and dewy glow and gives me that extra boost of hydration that I need for my skin. 
to moisturize, I'm taking my Essential Hydration Oil by Osea. What I love about this oil in particular is that it doesn't feel too greasy on my skin and it also helps make my skin feel soft, plump, and look so healthy. And that's it for skincare. So after I get done with my skincare, I will usually run downstairs for breakfast around 9 or 10 o'clock, depending if I feel like sleeping in that day or not. <laughs> but today I decided I wanted to make a simple three ingredient nice cream bowl. I'm using my Vitamix blender here to make this morning's treat, but I'll just add these ingredients into my blender and mash it on up until it's completely thick and frothy like ice cream. pour my juice into a wine glass to be fancy. Um, <laughs> this is probably about the closest thing I'll ever have to drinking wine. Like this is my wine because I do not drink any alcohol whatsoever. So I had to light some candles to set the mood for myself. Um, but for the bubbles for today's bath, I'm going in with the Deep Steep and the scent Lavender and Chamomile. It also contains coconut, argan, and shea butter. This product makes the biggest bubbles ever and just smells so freaking good. I'm also going to be adding in some colorful rose petals. I just love the smell of rose in my baths. Sometimes I'll even add in a few drops of essential oils. So while I'm soaking in the bath, I'll usually watch some Bridgerton. I've been so hooked on that show lately. Um, or I'll read a book, watch YouTube videos, or listen to music, all while enjoying my favorite vegan spa products. The first product is by Osea, again, obviously. This product leaves my skin so smooth, especially when I pair it with a salt of the earth body scrub. This combo just makes my skin feel smoother than it's ever felt, like literally ever. <laughs> and for body wash, I like to use the Conicel Botanical Shower Gel. It's basil and mint scented. It smells heavenly, oh my gosh. And then lastly, I'll use Osea's Andaria Algae Oil. This has a very pleasant, almost fruity smell to it and leaves my skin looking so glowy and so radiant. 
I like to watch other vegan YouTubers on the iPad or I'll edit and watch my personal YouTube videos all while enjoying my juice and fruit bowl. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's morning skincare routine and self-care video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give me a like. Leave me a comment letting me know some of your favorite vegan skincare brands and how you choose to personally self-care. Also, feel free to follow me on social media to keep up with me daily on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Blooming Raw. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!